This is the very charming village of Vona in the Bresse region between the glorious vineyards of Burgundy and the stunning French Alps. The main reason for my visit to this attractive region is to learn more about the most famous free-range chicken in Europe. This is the, the magnificent poulet de Bresse, known as the tastiest chicken in France, the favorite of the chefs, and it uh, lives freely here for uh, 16 weeks. They have a minimum of 10 meters square per chook. They eat the food, the worms, a little bit of corn, a little bit of wheat, and a little bit of grass, and that's what makes them so delicious. This is my first visit to a poultry farm where the chickens have so much room to live and play. The chicken of Bresse is the symbol of France almost with the blue feet, the white body, and the red crest. Bleu, blanc, rouge. In the center of Vona, the restaurant Georges Blanc is one of the most refined restaurants in France. From entree to dessert, everything is so good and it's worth living room for the great cheese platter that includes the local Bleu de Bresse. Since the opening of the restaurant in 1872, Georges Blanc is the first male of his family to be head of the kitchen. In the 1930s, a food critic wrote that his grandmother, Eliza, was nothing less than the best cook in the world. Like his grandmother, George is a master of cooking the famous local chicken. Alors, for the poulet, much better to be roasted on the brush, very natural, mm -hmm. or in the, in the oven, mm -hmm. so it's very tasty. It's very uh, special and very nice products. The more simple you do, the best it is. And it's with the poulard, it's with the cream sauce and the, and the goose liver uh, foie gras. Poulet de Brest à la crème. It's an evolution of the traditional poulet à la crème from my great mother. This flavorsome chicken dish is very popular in France. I first browned some chicken pieces in a little oil and butter, seasoning with a little salt and pepper. Then I add some diced onion, a bay leaf, and a few sprigs of rosemary. Next, I add some diced bacon, stir together and cook for a few minutes. I deglaze with half a glass of Macon Chardonnay before adding a handful of baby mushrooms. The dish is covered with foil and a lid and cooked on low heat for about 30 minutes. The smell in the kitchen with this dish is amazing. Meanwhile, heat a little oil in a heavy pan and cook three cubed potatoes for about 15 minutes until almost done. Transfer the potatoes to the chicken, mix gently together and cook for a further five minutes to combine the wonderful flavors. Voilà, poulet cocotte grand-mère, one of my children's favorite French dishes. Tomorrow we are discovering the great speciality of the Savoie region right in the middle of the magnificent French Alps. <laughs>